Hello students, this is your instructor, um, Dr. Hawk, and I wanted to review your um, assignment for Unit 2 for your HCP 103 course. Let's see if I can show you that. Um, it is a little confusing. Um, can't even see it myself. Okay, so this is your HCP Foundation of Office Skills, and we are on your um, Unit 2, the assignment which we need to review a little bit more if you are still confused. Um, hopefully this video helps you a little bit in understanding how to do your assignments. So first thing I want you to make sure you review is how to set up your EHR Go software. Remember this is an online software. You're trying to create a link by using the information here. And it gives you um, the details of what you have to do. So this is the link to your website for EHR Go. And it is giving you the uh, program key for the student in order for you to log in and create your own account. You can also use this guide here, which gives you a little bit of more information, step-by-step -step information of how to log in and create your account. So. If that makes sense, we will move on to our Unit 2 assignment. And remember, if any questions, please do um, email me or text me. I have posted my information everywhere on, on, on my announcements um, and my emails that I send you all the time. So please keep in touch with me for any questions. Things can be confusing, but we can always resolve matters if we do keep a good communication. So, scrolling down to your Unit 2 assignment. <coughs> Excuse me. Make sure you watch these two um, informational videos, in especially to understand um, how you're going to be doing your assignments. Okay? I will show you a little bit of everything that you're going to be watching in those videos. So now remember, these are just videos here. You're not doing anything. You're just watching videos here. Scrolling down. This is what is all your assignment is based upon. So every information that you see here is going to lead you to these three activities. Okay. Each of these activities has to be submitted in your Dropbox right here. So whatever you do here in these three activities on your EHR, you will save those activities in your computer, download those activities in your computer, and um, submit those documents, those activities under here in your Dropbox. So once you click on your homework, you will see a Dropbox here. Upload. Submit all these three activities right here. We will now go into the EHR. So as you click here for your first activities, we will be automatically connected to your EHR. This is the faculty area, so I'm going to switch to student. You have three steps to follow. Overview is basically going down and downloading your activity. What are you supposed to do here? This activity is going to tell you as to what instructions you need to follow in order to um, follow the steps, do your um, uh, assignment, and submit it in our actual home page at SJBC. Nothing is being uh, evaluated here. So once you download this activity, this is uh, right here. You can see that it has instructions for you starting from getting started. It's giving you the instructions of what you need to do in the software. Once you um, use this, this is not something that you're going to be submitting, not this page, okay? So you follow the instructions here. You make changes in your EHR by clicking on Launch e uh, EHR. This will take you to this page where you are going to start a new session because this is the first time you're using it. Once you do use it, it will bring you back here with a certain name that I want you to make sure you put your name on this so that when you submit it, I can see your name. So let's go to the new session. And now we're logging into the EHR session. 
you're being taken directly to the patient that's put that is on your activity list Jane Shriver you're going to review all of these tabs here okay follow the instructions add information here okay and save the changes all right you're saving everything that you do here so once you save it, you will be um, so once you click on close session, you can see how it is closing down the session and bringing us back to this page here. And you can see how I have saved my activity here. I'm going to click on it and put my name under EHR Go Orientation. Um, because this was remember this was your orientation activity and then I'm gonna put my name in here okay okay so that's what you're doing and since now now remember this is you can still go back and make changes if you need to okay if you have not done it or you just want to go back and make sure everything's done and then you once you click on it it will submit once you submit it it is going to be saved now you're going to download right this is the only activity that you're downloading okay the other two activities after that is the assignment sheet the activity sheet that you have to review on the ehr not making any changes in the ehr just getting information from the ehr and saving it so now you're going to download this activity save it on your computer and submit it in your dropbox Coming back to our home page, these are the two um, activities we have to uh, also do. And remember, this is uh, your documentation standards. Again, going back to our EHR software. Remember, always scroll down to find your activity. Again, this is me, so I have to change to student view. And we're going to see your activity right here. This is your documentation standard. You're going to download that and um, this is the this sheet is what you're going to be saving so you're following the instructions here on this assignment you're actually writing the answer uh, you're filling out this sheet okay so do you see how you have a question given here so you're following you're reading the questions here answering them here but you are following this patient navia williams on your software okay so we go back to our page on EHR, we launch the EHR the same way we did before. We go into our new session, we follow the um, patient information on these tabs. You see how we went directly to Nevia. We're going to go down, follow the instructions, get information that we need, that we are being asked by the activity sheet, fill out this activity sheet and submit. Once you finish writing all your information here, this is the sh this is the uh, file that you're going to save. Okay, you're going to save this file in your computer and you're going to submit this for me. So remember here, you're not making any changes on your EHR. You are just finding the information on this patient and then writing that information on your answering sheet and submitting it to me. This is good for both of these worksheets. For your activity two and activity three i hope that makes a little bit more easier for this to follow but again if it is not helping you please let me know okay i will look forward to hearing back from you soon good luck